Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco number 975-1605 UL listed door viewer. This is an unusual door viewer in the sense that it is made <laughs> for um, not thin doors, but really, I suppose it could be, but it's really made for inch and three quarter thick doors that have panels and then that's a tiny little door viewer you see there. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. So, first of all, the 975-1, that's available in a 605 finish. The bezel and the interior ring. Polished brass or uh, a polished chrome only. Those are the two finishes you'll get this. This is going to work on a door that's well, a panel anyway, that's from 11 16 thick to 1 and a 16th thick. Pushing 5 8 that's for sure. Threading that out will get us to the 1 and 11 16 range. Pardon me, 1 and 1 16 range. Yeah, indeed. That was one inch, had it screwed in a couple of turns. That's what it looks like. This is a 160 degree door viewer uh, that is going to be used uh, in being UL listed. You would use this on a door that is fire rated. Okay. It would be required that all of your hardware be UL listed as well on a door that's fire rated. This is compliant with that. There are no fire rated doors that are one inch thick. Obviously, you have an inch and three quarter thick door that has a panel design, and you might drill a hole through your panel with a standard viewer and then realize, oh gosh, the thickness of the panel is far thinner than the thickness of the door, which is typical and common. Enter the 975-1. Okay, this is going to require a, I'm sure, a half inch hole. Let's take a look and see what we've got. There's a link to the to a document called template that will allow you to review the 975-1 and its sister products and they are telling you that you have a half inch hole to drill through the door. The door prep is there for the 975-1, not for all of them, it's a rather generic cut sheet, it covers multiple units, multiple uh, types uh, of viewers. Be mindful that a standard location is about 60 inch ADA or handicap compliant accessible is 43 inch from the finished floor to the center line. I've seen that value a little bit higher as well. 43 is certainly well within the range. It can still be a little bit higher according to my understanding as well. Okay. Now, this has an outside dimension of the exterior of 1930 seconds, so almost 5 eighths. Let's check that with the caliper. Yeah, almost 5 eighths, 0.587 inch, 0.587. The inside is going to have a diameter of 0.669 inch, 0.669. That means that if you're drilling a half inch hole and you've only got 0.587 on the outside, you don't have any room to really use a bigger drill bit. Half inch, that's max. Let's put that caliper around the body and see what it tells us. That body, the caliper is telling us it's 0 .472, 0 .472, so it's really 1530 seconds. So you have a small amount of room to play with. You've got about an eighth of an inch, so be mindful of that. Um, you don't want to drill it too large, and you certainly don't want to just run the drill bit through your panel and then explode out the veneer on the opposite side. What I do when, I, when I'm drilling these, um, because it's a door viewer and I have lots of experience, I'm pretty good at drilling it straight through, so I will literally use an eighth of an inch drill bit. Be sure that I'm drilling through the door straight. Um, it's preferable, of course, to do the door laying in the flat because you can. it's easier to ensure that you're drilling it straight. And then I will take my bit and I will go through each side and meet in the middle so that I am cutting cleanly the wood so I don't tear it out 
you don't want to rip that wood out and then only have an eighth of an inch total to cover up with that door viewer. Nothing will ruin a Saturday afternoon like ruining your door viewer installation, which should be a five second, a five minute project. Okay. Very nice, attractive 605 finish. I like that a lot. It looks like it's genuine brass, real brass. Uh, and the fact that it's not magnetic tells me that it is. It looks like it's solid brass, is why I say I like the look of that. The rest of that cut sheet um, will just refer to the other items that you will have from Trimco. There's a couple of additional links to review down below as well, and let's take a look at them. Uh, you've got the product brochure, and that's handy because it will allow you to see the cut sheet where this 975-1 comes out of. Okay. Then you have a link to product maintenance. Generic statement from the manufacturer itself, nothing special there. And again, every once in a while you need a smaller door viewer to go through a panel that's thinner. And the 975-1 is certainly it. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Trimco products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to Trimco, and it's because I enjoy the quality of their product line, meaning when I see it and it's presented to me, I get the feeling that it's high quality, that it's been manufactured using high quality material by people who know how to finish and work architectural metals such as brass and bronze and stainless and aluminum. It's that feeling you get. Uh, if you have more than an occasional need for trim and auxiliary hardware, by all means, familiarize yourself with their product catalog because while they have solutions when it comes to door stops and push and pull plates that everyone has, they have some solutions to products that no one else has. And as a result, if you make a living in that industry, uh, in, the, in this industry, so to speak, um, it, might, it would be beneficial for you to be aware of it. If you have any questions on the Trimco 975-1, door viewer in a polished brass finish or any other Trimco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.